Our next guest is a talented actor you know from the movies Buddy Games, Win a Date with Tad Hamilton, and the Transformers franchise. You can catch him in the new show Jupiter's Legacy, which is streaming now on Netflix. Let's take a look. What is wrong with you? We don't kill, ever. He was going to detonate that. He was going to take you out in half the state. Then you disable his systems. You, you send him into space. You know, there's a million things you could have done. You took the easy way out. Did that look easy to you? Sheldon. Go. You'll wait for me at the Union. Please welcome to the show, Josh Dumel. How are you, Josh? I'm all right, Seth. I'm all right. This is a big deal. I put my suit on and everything for you tonight. You look really nice. I mean, I'm sure that's probably Thank the you. best dress you've ever been in your own kitchen. Well, <laughs> at least in the last year. This is, a, this is a good excuse for me to, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I mean, I didn't go all the way. Sure. But, Thank you know. for your honesty. We do appreciate your honesty. <laughs> Josh, this is your first time on the show, but we have been uh, co-stars in a major motion picture. We were in the 2011 film New Year's Eve. We did not uh, have scenes together, which I think is probably one of the reasons the film did not make its box office numbers. But no, no, did you would, enjoy, been, I've often uh, talked on this show with other people in that film, how much fun it was to work with Gary Marshall. Gary was amazing. And, and I, I, although we didn't, we didn't have any scenes together, I did feel your vibrations. Thank you. On the set, well after you'd gone. So, so in a way, we did work together. At least I, I was inspired by what, was, what you left behind. I'm glad so you I, got I, those. I did leave those for you, and I'm happy to see they hit their target. <laughs> you, um, I want to ask before uh, I ask about Jupiter's legacy, true story. Is this a true story that in 1997, you won Male Model of the Year, and runner-up was Ashton Kutcher. That, that's a fact. So wow. That is that is that is a true story. <laughs> it was uh, it was 1997, like you said. I went to New York. My first time ever in New York. I was you know not not far out of North Dakota. I think I'd left maybe a year earlier, and found myself in this competition. I'd been living in California and flew to flew to New York for it, and it was. Uh, Probably the most pivotal moment of my life. Sure. Beating Ashton Kutcher, you know what I mean? I mean, the whole week was about, you know, who's going to win? I heard I heard that there was like this, you know, the, the word on the street was that it was between me, this kid from Cedar Rapids, and some other kid, and the kid from Cedar Rapids was Ashton, obviously. Well, then we get up on stage at the end of, you know, a week long of, you know, swimsuit runways and high fashion, catwalking, and all that kind of stuff, which I'm sure you can find on, on YouTube or any any uh, anywhere on the internet, really. And so we're sitting up there, and it's, it's fifth runner-up, fourth runner-up, third runner-up, second runner-up is the kid from, I can't remember where, and then first runner-up was Ashton Kutcher, so, which meant I win this thing. I mean, I, I might have won, you know, Miss Universe. I was so, you know, it lifted me up. I had the sash and <laughs> um, tears were flowing. It was... It was beautiful. Did was you beautiful. have, was there one strength of yours as a male model that you feel like elevated you up? Was there uh, one part of the competition you feel you were dominant in? It was definitely my walk. Yeah. I had the walk, my walk was fierce. <laughs> in the late 90s, I mean, the walk was a whole different thing. Geez, I, I was trying to forget about this, but, but I appreciate you bringing it back. <laughs> You, uh, uh, we both have, uh, yours is a little older. We both have sons named Axel. Did you, uh, did you get to have good father-son time over the course of this last year? I didn't know you had a son named Axel. Yeah, I got an Axel too. Wow, that's cool. Um, yeah, we spent a lot of time, uh, I, have a, I have a cabin out in the, deep in the woods in Minnesota. And it was really just an opportunity to, to you know, do a bunch of the stuff that I never would have otherwise been able to do. You know, I got a tractor out there. I've got, I've got boats and jet skis and stuff. And we just, you know, I mostly did work, taught him the things that, I mean, I grew up out in the middle of the woods in, in North Dakota. And, and so it was a good way for me to sort of relive my own youth through him and show him the stuff that I grew up doing. And, you know, again, that was stuff that I don't know he would have otherwise been able to do just living in Los Angeles. So it's been great having that place out there. So this is interesting to me because I feel like a kid that age, even though uh, they've got a dad who's in show business, a dad who's currently playing a superhero, I bet at the end of the day, they're more impressed that you have a tractor. Is that accurate? Yeah. Yeah. yeah to Juliana's point, he doesn't really care. I mean, he loves superheroes. Don't get me wrong. That's, that's, 
that is that is what he talks about 90 percent of the time but uh you know to me it's almost it's i'm just his dad you know and i think that it's almost more distracting for him to be able to watch it and be like that's just that's not you that's just a suit with a wig and a fake beard what do you uh, you're not a superhero Superheroes, Superman. Yeah, but, and know. by the way, uh, Superman, the actual Superman doesn't uh, get a muscle suit like this. That really makes the job a lot easier, <laughs> let's be honest. Yeah, I was pretty proud of that. Look how jacked I look there. I wish I could do that in real life. They're really good. When you see it there, you realize, oh, they've figured out how to do this. Like, the superhero yeah. era we're living in in film and television has figured out how to do muscle suits. Yeah, they certainly have. And it's so depressing having to take that thing off because then you realize what you actually look like underneath it. Yeah. Because this is like you, uh, 1997, sash on. And then... Uh... <laughs> now, one of the cool things about this, uh, you, uh, you do play a superhero over the course of 100 years, which uh, is... I, and I should note that this is a, a graphic novel uh, that I have read and that I really enjoy. And well, there's some real uh, depth in this character. Are you enjoying it? I had a great time. I really did. It was one of those jobs. I mean, it's one of those jobs as an actor you, you, you dream about because, you know, there's a whole origin story that we start with and sort of cut back and forth from, you know, current time back to the 30s. And so I got to play this guy sort of on top of the world, uh, then loses his father in a really sort of tragic way. And then he goes into this mental sort of breakdown. And he, he goes crazy, really. And so it's this journey that he takes following these visions that he has and, and which ultimately leads him to get these powers. Uh, but then you see 90 years later, what the repercussions of that are like. And it's like, you know, 90 years of, you know, the responsibility that it takes to be this guy is what we really examine. And that's, that's what I loved about it. And, and, and how does that affect the way you raise your kids? And he, you know, this guy can fly around the world and, and shoot laser beams out of his eyeballs, but he can't, He's powerless when it comes to connecting with his 20 year old daughter, you know, and, and so he literally goes to therapy because he doesn't know who to talk to because he feels like he's losing, you know, he's losing them. And so I love that. I love that they sort of examine the psychological, the, the psychological aspects of it. It's a really cool story. And I'm, uh, I'm so glad uh, it's on screen. I want to finish by asking you, you have a celebrity doppelganger. He is a, uh, a friend oh, yeah. of the show. Uh, he's a handful. Timothy Oliphant, <laughs> uh, and I, you yeah, know, I, I, when awesome. I looked at this photo, I was like, oh yeah, uh, son of a gun, you guys uh, uh, look alike. And you have, you have crossed paths and agreed on this assessment by others that you are spitting images of, of one uh, another. Yeah, I, I couldn't wait to meet him because all I ever hear was you look just like Timothy Oliphant. In fact, I went to a, I went to a, a, a charity ping pong event that Clayton Kershaw was putting on here in Los Angeles a few years ago. And they do it right on the outfield in at, at Dodger Stadium, which is one of the most fun events. And so I go, they have like this blue carpet thing. And I go, you know, I'm talking to the reporters and stuff before we go in. And the LA Times was there. And they start, I'm talking to the dude for like 10 minutes. And at the end of the interview, he says, so how, how, how what was it playing so-and-so from Justified? I was like, wait a second, you think, wait, you think that I'm Timothy Oliphant? <laughs> 10 minutes we talked, he thought that I was this dude. So I go into the thing and sure enough, Timothy does show up later to this, this event. And I finally got to meet him and we talked and we laughed about all the, you know, all the, all the, all the times we each get sort of, you know, taken for the other, for, for each other. And he goes, hey, come here, take a picture, take a picture with my family. So I'm like, okay, he had his wife and his, I think his three kids, maybe four, I can't remember. Uh, and we all take, he actually takes the photo. So I'm sitting there with his wife and his kids. Well, come Christmas time, I get a, an envelope with a Christmas card in it with me and Timothy <laughs> Oliphant's family saying, happy holidays, the Oliphants. I mean, I thought that was pretty brilliant of him. And, you know, I, I, was, I was looking around for the photos so I could, I could, you know, send it to you guys, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But he's a good dude. He is a good dude. A handful, but a good dude. Hey, uh, thanks so much for being here, man. It was a real pleasure talking to you, and congrats on the show. Thanks so much, Seth. Jupiter's Legacy is streaming now on Netflix. We'll be right back.